Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Docker and we're going to be looking at multi-architecture images. That is a single image tag in a Docker registry that can be used on multiple different processor architectures. Uh, most of the built-in Docker images, such as like Ubuntu and Debian and such, already provide this for you. Uh, but this is more of a tutorial about how to build these yourself and how to push them to a registry. I'm going to show you how to do this both the new way and the old way, as well as uh, how you would do this with Podman. Uh, note that Podman does not have the new way. There's a missing argument in its buildx build command, which we'll be using to build multi-architecture images. Uh, but to get started with this, I'm going to be pushing these to GitHub's container registry. So I have gone ahead and I guess I'll just show you how to how to set up a token here. We're going to generate a new token. Uh, we're going to call it GHCR token. I am going to make sure that it expires in case I forget it <laughs> to do it in the video. <laughs> and make sure it expires tomorrow. Uh, and I am going to give this token write packages, which will allow me to push to a registry. And then we're going to generate the token uh, for pushing to GitHub's container registry. Your login with Docker will be your username and the token will be your password. So if we were to do docker login ghcr.io, this is GitHub's container registry. Uh, yep, that username is fine. The password will be this token here and you'll get some warning about it storing the credentials, but that's fine. Not to worry, we are now logged into GHCR so we can push images to it. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to enable multi-architecture images. And the way that uh, <laughs> I have learned to do this, or that's been documented, is to run this special Docker image uh, in privileged mode, which this spooks me a little bit, so I don't usually like to do this. Uh, the instructions for Podman are a little less scary than this, but I'll, I'll show you those in a second. Uh, but this will modify your system to suddenly allow it to uh, builds other architectures. In this case, we're gonna add the ARM64 architecture. Uh, and you'll see here that it is installed an emulator for ARCH64, which is ARM64. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a buildx builder, and you don't have to do this for Podman. Uh, I don't really know why you have to do this. Uh, create, yeah. So you have to run this command, docker buildx create dash dash use. This will set up our buildx builder. Uh, <laughs> interesting name that it gave us there. Uh, next, I'm going to make a Docker file. It doesn't really matter what it is, uh, but we're just going to do from Ubuntu focal and then I don't know run echo high to some file. And this image are, has to support multi architecture for this to work. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it's not going to succeed. Uh, but this one does happen happen to support the two architectures that we care about. And now we're going to type out a bit of a mega command, and it's going to do a bunch of things all at once. Uh, and that is docker build x build. We're going to tell it to also push at the same time. It's a little bit weird to build and push at the same time. Uh, this is the command flag that Podman doesn't support, and so we'll show you how to do this for Podman and the old way to do this in a sec. Uh, so we're going to do docker build x build dash dash push. We are going to build a tag. Uh, that is ghcr.io slash acetilly slash. I'm just going to use multi arch example latest. Uh, that is the tag that I'm going to try and build. And we need to tell it to build for some platforms. The platforms that we care about are Linux slash ARM64 and Linux slash AMD64. Uh, you may also know this is ARCH64, which is what this is up here. The Docker names are a little bit different. Uh, this is also a, a different name for x86-64. This is the, the name that Docker uses. And then we're going to tell it to build from dot. That way it uses this Docker file. And so this big old long command is going to build for ARM64, then build for AMD64, and then push both of those to this single tag here. Uh, and so if we run that, a uh, whole bunch of output, it's not really I don't really completely understand everything that's happening. Oh, we can see here both of our image builds. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then you'll see that it has author, uh, authenticated and then pushed to ghcr.io. We should be able to go here to uh, my packages. Uh, you can get to that by going to your profile and then where is it? 
Oh, it's up at the top. Uh, and then clicking packages and you'll see your image here. Uh, note on GitHub's container registry, it will list the two operating systems and architectures. That way you can use them directly here. Uh, but that's kind of the, the basics of this. That's the easy way to do this. Uh, now let me show you the harder way, or at least the more compatible way, the older way. <laughs> it's probably the best way to do this. Uh, and the older way to do this is to build each architecture separately, push each architecture separately, then build a manifest for both of those architectures, and then push that final uh, manifest. And so in order to do that, we're going to pick a different name here. So we're going to do... Uh, just a single platform at a time. So we'll start by doing this and let's call this multi-arch example two. That way uh, <laughs> we, we can push to a different image. And I'm actually going to name the tag of this image different than latest. Uh, and this will be important later. So I'm gonna call this arm 64. Uh, we can actually, well, we can probably use the dash dash push, but I'm gonna leave it off because this is the more compatible version. Uh, so we'll run this. This will first build our ARM64 image. So if we do Docker images, uh, we should have, uh, I don't see it here. Uh, maybe we have to do Docker build X images. Oh, I don't even know where this image went. <laughs> That's weird. Where did it go? Uh, okay, we're gonna use dash dash push then. <laughs> For Podman, you won't have to do this, uh, but I'll show that in a second. So we're going to do dash dash push. That way it pushes to this tag. I don't quite know why it doesn't show up in Docker images, but uh, it's probably because buildx is a different subsystem and I just don't know how to mess around with its internals. Okay, so we're going to first push this one image. And if we look here on our packages again, uh, we will now see this multi-arch example two. Uh, but this only has this latest ARM64 image. Then we're gonna build one for AMD64. And again, adjust the tag here, AMD64. And that is going to push a second tag here. So now we have two of these tags. And then we're gonna do Docker manifest create. And this will be our final manifest. So we want to use the tag that we're targeting. So we wanna target latest. And then we're going to append these two other tags, the AMD64 and the ARM64 tag, into it. Uh, and I believe that is by doing dash dash amend. And then we need to put the two tags here. So AMD64 and ARM64. This is going to create a single manifest that contains both of these other images. That way, you pull one on your particular architecture, and it'll pick the right architecture. So we do this now. Uh, it has now created this manifest, and then we have to push this. So we will do docker, docker manifest push uh, this uh, manifest name here. And then after all is done there, we should get our latest tag, and you'll see that our latest tag has two uh, architectures. So this is kind of the, the slow manual way of building your own manifest and pushing it. Okay, so that's how you do this with Docker. Uh, with Podman, it's pretty similar to the manifest creation steps. I'm sure at some point, Podman will also support the dash dash push flag, and then you won't have to do that. Uh, but enabling multi-architecture images is a little bit different. On Podman, you can do it automatically by installing the QEMU, uh, or QEM, I don't know how to pronounce it, the uh, QEMU user static uh, package, sudo apt install QEMU user static. Uh, and this installs an emulator, uh, this Kimu is an emulator, that emulates all the other architectures. So you don't need to do any of that weird privilege setup or any of that build X create stuff. You can just jump directly to podman build X build platform Linux slash ARM64 uh, tag ghcr.io slash um, doesn't actually matter because we're not pushing this one, uh, but you can jump directly to building with dash dash platform and, and have that succeed. So we can kind of uh, you know, skip, skip ahead directly to that and not have to uh, set up any other special stuff. But then after this, it's the same like podman manifest create blah, blah, blah command that we saw before with Docker. Uh, anyway, that's multi-architecture images and how you can set them up, build them and push them. 
uh, as well as how you can push them to GitHub's container registry if <laughs> that was something you wanted to learn as well. Hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.